Yo 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 what's up everybody it is me Aiden again bringing you back another video and today we gonna talk about the potential about Rido in the 86 um, I mean it's a kind of a and uh, weird video for me to do because normally if you know me I'll most likely complain about Rido and um, especially you know when it comes to the 86 even though I said like in the past like he had good tweaks but he still is missing like a lot of aspects for him to be a good character but still um, today you could say it's a positive video of Raidu's potential in the OA6 and I would say without talking so much we shall just jump right into this and I'll try to keep everything short and not talk like crazy long to make it like a 30 minute video I'll try to like keep it below at least to make it like a 10 to 15 minutes video at max so I'll catch you all in a moment and then um, I'll talk most likely first of all um, about like the potential of him and then I'll go and show you all some sage combos I've been working on to show you all like the potential he has combined with the danger zone so without talking so much let's jump into this so the thing with Raido is when we talk about this potential are most of the time it comes to two to three things most of all, all are the plus frames you gain from um, his attacks and then um, what he's capable of in environment base. So first of all, we'll talk most likely about like some key moves of Raido. The first move I'm gonna address right now is most um, is going to be a six XP. If you know this move, is always plus fifteen, no matter on which um, counters you hit this, even on always counter, and um, you get the same plus frames all the time. The damage, it, it, there is a damage difference, but normally you will always get the um, plus 15. So um, this comes from I Deity. Thank you so much, Deity. Um, if he didn't like show this or like, if he didn't like actually find this out, like we probably would have not know um, what we can do because. Even though he has, uh, even though it gives you plus 15, um, you only have few options. I'm not going to go over them. I can just say them real quick. Most likely a jab, P plus K, 6, 6 P, and I think that's pretty much it. Okay, you can do also a low to 2 P if you want to, but that's it. So he doesn't have much options. Maybe a kick if you want to go for, uh, you know, a standing kick, but that's that's the maximum he can do like four to six moves he actually has because 2k doesn't work and 3p doesn't work 4p doesn't work nothing actually works because um they, these moves are much slower so what you can do is um this is not a common uh, not an uncommon thing but you can pretty much do this with every single move in the game most likely and that is you can increase um, the plus frames on that move if you do it from the distance if you can do it like perfectly as you guys saw you can make it up to plus 16 and plus 17 so what does this mean if you do this like in a good distance you can launch your opponent with an electric or if you want to risk it you can even try to get a 6kk in it, which gives them like a s bounce. Of course, you know, the thing is, this has to be timed or it has to be done from a good range. Because as you see, if you get it not that perfectly or precisely, you'll, you'll get actually, you know, only plus 15. So... Finding out, you know, the the range on this move um, is a bit difficult. Yeah, you can pretty much use this move to see how much reach you have. 250, but you gotta basically, like, have a feel for it. 
I'll see if I can find some. Uh, I'll see if I can do these moves real quick, so I can show it to y'all. Just showing this right now on, you know, on, um, on normal hit, on count hit, you you most likely can like check it out for yourself. I I would have not known you can actually like get it like that. You know, from perfect tip range, guaranteed free free K launch. But that's it, you know, only the electric, you know, only this and the free free KP, you know, that's your all or your free free K, better to say, only your launches. Now, to the next move, which can be applied the same, but not, you know, not that crazy is um, his um, 66K, the slide. If we do this like from a very good distance, we can make it plus 13. And that means we can finally jab from this. And if you can pull this off, then hey, then we finally can do something like this from, you know, from perfect tip range. We have another move, which is basically revolving his quarter circle back punch. Because if you don't know, on back turned opponents, I can show it to y'all, um, his quarter circle back punch likes to whiff a lot like as you guys see it whiffs pretty a lot sometimes it can it can work but it requires distance so but if you do this like from like from pretty close range which most likely will happen here and there um, you can make it so you can get a better landing of this move but it requires um, a delay if you delay it, as you guys see, you can make this move work. That is a pretty big plus. If you can do this, then, um, of course, that means um, on lightweights, it is possible to do it on walls, not in the open. Because if you do it in the open, um, the electric will always whiff. As you guys see, so... Unless maybe if we time it a little bit, then yeah. Then we could maybe get this electric in there. But if you want to just try to get a, a you know, a fatal rush. Or if you want to, you know, you can go for, um, if you're up for it, you know, for the air throw. Now, if you are not interested in launching your opponent, but trying to maybe get like a mix out of it and um, you can go for 1p it works it should work with every single character i haven't tried it out right now with you know with um like with the heavyweights and not with every midweight characters but like on lightweights this will work the only issue is if you've tried this move on um on like slip stun floors this move will always give you the guaranteed you know the guaranteed um follow-ups on this case you know from back turned opponents i can show it to y'all you will not repeat i repeat not get a guaranteed um guaranteed follow-up as you guys see they can break out of this they have the time even to break out of it of course if they don't have meter they have to make a guess but if it's um, if they have meter what you could do is I don't know go for this depends some even like to like try to delay this you can you can pretty much look what you want to do with that and um, but it is pretty interesting to see like you know you can have the option to launch your opponent because the thing is sometimes you don't get like and um, you can't do pretty much a lot of things with you know with and um, with the free free k yeah you can um it's more consistent than quarter circle back punch it is um basically the move the safest move to go if you have your, you know, your opponent in a limbo stun, and 
yeah. But the thing is, you can't do like what you can do with, you know, with, um, with like quarter circle back punch. It gives you um, a much higher launch than 3-3k, of course. And it allows you to do uh, more damage because you can do electric into the air grab. There we go, that's it. So you can do this and as you guys can see this does freaking a lot of damage. So if you know Raido excels a lot in damage and with that he gets like more plus points towards his damage so you can pretty much do disgusting damage with this so now I am what I will show you all will be um, a bit of you know slip stunts things and then I'll show you all the plus and uh, not the plus frames and uh, the environment combos I came up with so I'll see you all in a second so now we are on um, on the map road rage because I wanted to show you all real quick, you know what I was talking about early on and um, That on slip stunts, you know, um, you don't have to pretty much a lot of options with Rydos, so I can show to you all real quick that um, On slip stunts um, You get guaranteed follow-ups what I showed you all earlier is that you don't get a follow-up from this, but if I show to you all here, you guys see the follow-ups here are completely guaranteed. Of course, um, um, you don't get any follow-ups from this whatsoever, so don't try to launch from this at all. So I showed you all that all the follow-ups are guaranteed, and even with this, like you get the follow-up. Guaranteed, like they can't do whatsoever with this. They have to eat this move whatsoever. And you know, the only move that doesn't have a follow up is 2k, and that is also his only option. Only option, I tell you all, and um, where he can get a guaranteed launch from this. So, I show you all that 33k is completely guaranteed because this is plus 17. Um, like you have only plus 17 or 17 frames to actually get something guaranteed from this. So I would recommend just launch. Oops. Just launch. And then you can pretty much do whatever you want to. This is what I am showing to y'all because some of y'all may not know it. Others may have know it. And... You know, now I'll try to show you all what we can do with these things. Um, with the um, environment with Rido, And because I'm going to show you all some, you know, some danger zones that I've been coming up with. And some are pretty damn good. Some of them are also pretty damn hard. I'll see if I can literally, like, um, put the entire, like, commands um, on the screen. So you can pretty much try this out yourself. Or I'll most likely do it on the comments or so um, of course um, not every stage will most likely be included but like some of them are pretty damn interesting so I most likely won't say anything after this but thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you all and are enjoying these combos I've came up with and I'll say this most of them are going to be guaranteed or like situation based but most likely guaranteed. So, hope you enjoy them, and I'll catch you on, on the next video. See. You.